Hi, I'm Mark Cleborn. Welcome to the Photographer Academy. And today we're talking about uh, wireless file transfer using the Tether Tools Case Air product. Now, uh, some of you all know I'm a massive fan of te Tether Tools. We've been using their products for a very long time, more in the form of the USB ca uh, the cables that connects my camera to the likes of the PC. Uh, especially when you're shooting product photography like uh, food or whatever it would be and things really, it's, it's absolutely simple and brilliant. You plug it in, it works, yeah. Uh, today we're talking about wi uh, wireless. Now this is kind of a part two. Uh, in part one, we talked about the setting it up. Uh, remember, if you're just getting going with your case air and you need an instant help guide, the first things to do is don't have the actual um, software running on your PC. Okay, first things first, do not have that running. The next thing is make sure the camera is off and then switch the case air dongle on. Soon as you switch it on, you're gonna either get an orange or a green light, uh, and that shows the orange, it's charged, a green light is fully charged. You're also gonna see in the dot below, there's a blue light that comes solid straight away, but then goes off. Then it will start to actually blink in the blue light, and then from there, once it goes solid, it's basically created its wireless net its network, it's ready to rock. Then you switch your camera on, that's the key thing. Once you switch your camera on, if you're using the likes of a PC or a Mac, go and um, instantly then uh, go to your settings and make sure that you've used the case uh, air as the kind of the, wi the wireless itself. Once you've uh, set that up, then basically we're gonna double click on the software and we're pretty much ready to roll. Now, in the part one, we didn't really go into much as far as the setup is concerned here, um, except for kind of what to switch on, what to switch off as far as if we go down to the settings, kind of deciding whether you want the image to appear on screen straight away using the likes of the image push, that's what we will see in a, sec a second, and whether we want an, or an auto download. I also switch off the ex uh, exclude raw transfer if I'm working on a real job, because obviously I want the JPEG file and the raw file to be delivered for store uh, storage on the computer straight, uh, straight away. If I'm in demonstration mode, I usually just switch um, this on exclude raw file. So it means the only thing that's coming down to the, P, uh, the PC, just to make it quicker, is the actual uh, JPEG file itself. So uh, some other little things that you, you can do here. We also talked about in the uh, where you're gonna actually store these two. Uh, as again, once more in the settings, go into select, choose the place where you're gonna store. I always recommend don't store them on the PC or the Mac. I'd re recommend that you store them to a, a drive that you, is your kind of shoot drive. So you can basically unplug from your portable system and go straight to your full-time uh, your full -time system with it. So with all that done, if I just press the capture button here, good cheesy photograph. So um, instantly though, the, one of the benefits of actually seeing a small image big is, is like we're seeing now, we've, we've obviously set the camera up wrong. We're using studio flash, it's not synced correctly. Uh, we can tell it's too high a sync anyway. So let's shut that down for a minute. And the first thing I wanna do is kind of go into the case remote with, window now and make some settings. So all I've gotta do is click on uh, shutter speed select the desired shutter speed. I usually shoot around about 125th in studio, 160th of a second. And then basically it tells the camera now to change its settings, cheesy smile. And then basically it takes it at the correct uh, working shutter speed now. So there it is. So if the camera is in a place and you cannot change the camera without getting it down, or it could be a, the front of a church or whatever it be, you've got control. That's the key thing here, all right? So when we kind of just click off that then, um, if I want to kind of just change the aperture a little bit, let's go to 3.5, press OK again. And then we, uh, once more, it tells the camera to change it from F4 to 3.5. I meter everything as a rule, so I'm going to rely on the meter and not on a screen. But let's take the photograph. Cheesy thumbs up just to show the image and basically come straight through again and it's got our shot done. All right, now there's other things that we can be doing as well. One of them would be uh, the likes of a continuous cap uh, the capture. I was just using single capture there. So if I just go into the drive mode and I basically do a continuous high speed, press okay again. 
Now what's going to happen if when I press the capture C once, it's going to continue to actually take photographs until I press it again. All right. So happy days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As long as your flash can keep up with the uh, kind of the, shoot, uh, the shooting with it, pretty much we're going to get all those images kind of coming through without any real trouble and it's doing its job. All right. So this would be good perhaps if you're shooting dancers or you're shooting actors on a uh, stage or you're trying to get some kind of move movement in studio and kind of just get animation of pose and things really but uh, as a rule of thumb i tend to shoot on single mode and kind of move my finger or move it on here to take the photographs so you get a good idea that we can go beyond the kind of the basics we can set the likes of uh, the flash balance as well so if i just quickly set into tungsten mode let's give myself a nighttime look we'll just switch the continuous mode back onto sing uh, single press ok I'm going to choose my aperture, which is F4 again, pressing OK. And then all I need to do is take the photograph. This is going to come out what color? Blue. Why? Because basically I'm shooting with white light. I've told it to be shooting in tungsten. And so hence it's come out blue, the opposite color end and things really. OK, so you can at least understand there's a little bit more that you can do with the case air. But I'm sure you're already fiddling if you've already bought the case air. If you're looking to buy, uh, to buy one, thumbs up from me guaranteed. You don't often see me doing uh, uh, product reviews uh, in any, any way. But if you're a wireless tethered photographer and you want to move it slightly, slightly more to a wireless element instead of through a, ca a cable, this is a must for you, kind of guaranteed. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.